New information at 10 about a teen stabbed in the neck at school in South Nashville. Good evening. I'm Marius Payton and I am Tracy Cornett. Tonight we know how that teen is doing in the hospital. News 4's Cameron Taylor joins us now live from Overton High School with that update for us. Cameron. Yeah, Tracy, tonight I've been talking with the mother of the teen who was stabbed. She told me in a text message her son is out of surgery and doing OK, but he's still in the ICU. Meanwhile, police are trying to figure out what led to the stabbing here at this school. And one parent you're about to hear from says she was very nervous when she first learned about it. John Overton High School has been placed in lockdown due to an incident involving two students who have been injured and are receiving medical attention. That call went out to parents from Metro schools. Before that happened, Lillian Bosco was getting text messages from other moms about a stabbing at the school. I do not like that feeling. Um, I just wanted to make sure that my kids were safe and I, I needed to hear that they were safe. Her ninth and 10th grader were safe. They've been doing virtual learning, but were at school today taking a test. Today was their second day in school this year for testing. Metro police say a 15 year old boy stabbed his freshman classmate in the neck with a folding blade knife. They say surveillance video shows the victim, a 14 year old boy, walk across the school's gym to the other teen. That's when the stabbing happened almost immediately. School staff and the school resource officer rushed to help slow the bleeding. Our hearts, our thoughts and prayers are with the students um, involved and we do pray for a speedy recovery um, for the student. The student who was stabbed in the neck was taken to the hospital for surgery. The other teen is now facing attempted criminal homicide charges in juvenile court. School board member Rachel Ann Elrod represents the area. She tweeted in part, my prayers and thoughts go to the affected families, but we also must evaluate the policies and changes needed to prevent these types of incidents. For Bosco, she believes it was an isolated incident handled well by the school. It doesn't give me any fear about my kids going back to school. And back out here live, we wanted to know how often weapons have been found here at Overton. Metro schools got back with us and told us last school year there were two separate incidents. One involved a student with mace, another had a knife and razor. Tracy. Cameron Taylor tonight, thank you.